Today I spend 100 days in V-Rising at its full release. What makes this video far different from my last 100 days is that I finally beat the game. All of it. Everything and beyond. I was able to explore every part of the map from the ruins of Mortuum and all of Gloomrot to fighting different bosses that reminded me of Dark Souls and I even managed to get inside of Dracula's castle. This entire playthrough was streamed on my Twitch channel Ray of Pandas. So without further ado, I spent 100 days in V-Rising and here's what happened but almost started up as a cursed vampire with the five tabs combined, I slowly created my next best vampire to be. Colin, it is. I, I'm terrible with names every time. First space to wake up. Keep pressing it. It was like any other day, scratching and clawing my way out of these dark crypts. Noticing new lands moments later, this map had so much more to offer both between the cursed forest and the ruins of Mortuum. It's finally open! <laughs> oh man. Sure enough, I would also find more luck throughout the day. Woo! Actually killed the boss early on too, man. Normally I just wait in that, but no, we're getting, getting moving. Uh -oh. Taste of knowledge. Drink the blood. The rest of the night, I began to set up my castle heart, adding a few walls to my so-called base. It didn't look like this forever though, okay? On day two, I began the upgrades, first with my sawmills and a simple workbench, eventually being able to craft better equipment to mine out better resources. Oh yeah, copper. Hey, look at that. Having all that I needed, the speed at which I found new things to craft was a little unreal. Later in the playthrough, I did manage to fight higher level things. This definitely wasn't one of those moments though. Oh damn, spider, 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 spider. Woo, I'm gonna kill you and you, oh wait, you hit me. Oh damn, oh, I thought that was me. Uh, hold on, I need a, a new spear. Ow, no. <gasps> okay, this is not cool. Well, actually, we're fine. Yeah, I'll fight each other. That's what I meant to do. Having the copper I stored up the next day, I had everything I needed to be smelted down. This game was all about getting just enough upgrades to progress in the direction of each new boss. With that in mind, I had to spend a bit more time in the copper mines, smacking a few things around all silly like seeing exactly what the doctor ordered. Because let me tell you, oh, he ordered something juicy. Uh, hello. I'll handle you myself. Oh, will you now? He's doing spin to win. Let's hear that crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. I can't see. I can't move. I can't move. I don't want to die. Mama, no. Daddy, no. Ow, what the fudge? I thought I... Come on, break it for me. Come on, baby. Break it. Girl. Do it again. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Woo. Yo, boy, got it. I broke something. Yep. We broke something. Oh. You'll pay one yippee, and can we get exclusive content of Ray of Deep Throating a Banana? If you want, maybe, maybe. Though to be fair, my gag reflex is terrible. Like even just a finger and I, I'm, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> of course, with my inventory being as full as ever, I made my way back towards the base, waiting patiently for some copper bars to make a few upgrades. So we have mace, axe, we just need the spear and sword. As day four was here, I would normally wait to take on the next boss, but seeing that there were a lot of them, a lot of bosses, there was no time like the present. When you're, whoa, 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 Peter Piper, pick your paper, pop, paper. The sun definitely didn't help, and having no sunscreen or protection, this would take a more careful approach. You're lucky I can't come to you. You wanna come to me? Huh? Wanna come to me, punk? My magic will kill you. Ooh. <laughs> that very same day or night by this point in i took advantage of the moon running in the direction of rufus and looking for another fight <laughs> jesus i just Always took the man and been like what you dead let's go relocation construct this castle art with unoccupied territory to relocate all structures and items from existing castle to this would have been so nice what the heck are you kidding me I had to destroy everything and build it back up from scratch last time. Could you imagine it? All I did for the day was just clearing out enough space around the base just to play some simple flooring. Nothing cool. You know, nothing fun. Just, just that. With day six here, I felt it was time to search for even more bosses now. I needed the advanced building benches to continue my upgrades, so this took me into a camp full of forges and armor stands. Hold on. What? Oh. 
Well, hello. Am I really invulnerable? <laughs> What's good, baby? What's good? Can't touch this. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Hey! Oh god, oh god, oh god, this is so scary. I didn't mean to upset everyone. I mean, maybe I did, I don't know. Oh my god, this is so scary. Oh. Hello, Grayson. Get these spikes out of here, boyo. We do not like spikes in here. You're not gonna touch this. I'm just, excuse me, part of me, clearing some of these bad boys out. I think I stopped you, buddy. All right, let's get <laughs> Apparently, while leaving the encampment, I was told by chat that I missed some big, shiny, and golden chest. That's a huge chest. Whoa, how did I miss that? What? <laughs> how did I miss you? Oh, my God. If I'm in front of it, it looks golden. But from afar, I'm like, I'm missing that. <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of which, this couldn't have been better timing for the sun to rise. Okay, it's a big old rat thingy. I'm, I, why can't I? Oh, I got to click myself to use it. Oh, I didn't even know that. My bad. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Your last stream you'll ever watch. It took a bit more time taking down walls. As promised, base. Truth be told, the stuff I had built didn't make a lick of sense. But let me tell you, this right here, this was the shiz. Ooh, look at me. Oh man, oh gosh. My exploration took me into day eight. Surprised oh, to see what cool. I found here. Whoa, I need, holy crap, I didn't realize. Oh, bear form and I could destroy that? Okay, okay. I was both farming up the stone to turn into stone brick and uncovering most of the fog in the Farbane woods. <gasps> Wait. Hey, we did it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Got a roof, got a roof over my head. I am blessed. Ho oh, ho, got a roof. Needing more bones the next day, I found my way into a crypt. A scary place for sure, and as you can see, with all the creatures around, I was quite underleveled. While I did make my way back to base, something very unexpected sat right in front of me. Damn, she's fighting the big thing. Ooh, actually, I might want to use this here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's killing a level 38 creature? What is happening? Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Was he even my boss kill, but I got him. Hold on. This would give me all the bones I would ever need, a nice big portal to teleport to and from, and a few growing plots for all the seeds that I would come by. On day 10, I found my way to the only place I knew of that had as many flowers and seeds in a single area. I did have to be careful though, as there was a boss lurking in the area. I'm sorry, Faye Walker. I wasn't talking anything about you, nothing. I was just farming. Ooh, uh, it's as I enjoyed what garden I had, waiting for things to blossom, this was going to be beautiful. Like also, thank goodness I didn't try fighting this thing. Hello, you think I'm a kill? Oh, yeah? Watch this. I'm going to bring you to a camp. Actually, I should probably aggro him a bit more just so he gets a little flustered here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? It looks like he does have a range, okay. The next boss on my to-do list was Clive the Firestarter, located in the Sulphur Mines with many explosives around. As long as I watched my footing and played a bit more ranged, this boss wasn't so difficult. Up to this point in V-Rising, most bosses were pretty easy, until I met the Fisher. Get away from me! Let me be! Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Okay, maybe I just gotta kill him first? I don't know. Oh god. Oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah, <laughs> this man be summoning so many things. This guy's crazy. What is up with him? Come here. Come here. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actual puffer fish. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah, baby. He dead. He dead. He dead. He big dead. All right. You guys need to go away, please. Please go away. So far, that's actually been the toughest fight. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Now on my way back to the base, I had a little more storage set up, a perfect place to keep things more organized. On day 12, I found myself snooping around the leatherworking station. Ooh, right, I need leather bags. Let's do leather, coarse thread. Okay, so we can only hold one at a time, which will eventually give us the rest of the storage. Got it, okay. I did also need greater blood essences, but would have to wait until I fought the boss that unlocked the recipe. All that was left to do in the area was pick up any of the remaining flowers nearby and then head back to my base. And now for the next boss, shall we? Easiest fight ever. Oh my God, let's freaking go. Didn't even have to send for the blood, nothing. Just came in and walked up and I was like, yo, give me those DMs. 
I ain't even gonna slide into the DMs. I'm taking the DMs. They are my DMs. Definitely one of the easier bosses again, but with a huge risk. Getting hit by even one of the blows was devastating. Come on, I'm so close. I just need to kill you, Dad. Here we go, baby. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, yeah. Definitely a lot harder than I thought it'd be, but at the same time, it is what it is. So I wasn't finished there yet because I wanted to distract myself with another boss. This is going to be a close battle, man. Close battle. Here we go. Ooh, God. All right. I got my skills going. Ooh, God. Unfortunately, this was the first time of being overwhelmed. So, you know, it didn't go so well, but that didn't stop me. Mm -mm, no, sir. You're dead. You're dead. You're just you're just dead. You're dead. Goodbye. Dead. Kill him. There we go. Goodbye. Don't bother. Oh no, you dead. I got you. I'm eating. I'm sinking. I'm drinking your blood. With it being day 14, I found myself doing a little gardening again. I also caught the silliest of acts happening out in the corner of my eye. Look at the man go. He's gone for the deer. Get him, Igor. Get him. <laughs> He's got this. He's got this in the bag. So with certain bosses that you'd beat in the game, you'd get certain, you know, transformations, let's say. And this, this definitely came in handy here. And now for this, we use the bear form. Oh, get ready. I'm gonna wreck this thing. Bop, bop, knock, knock. Who's in there? I want in, baby. The camp was filled with just a bunch of little guys and big guys and some easy guys and some hard guys. But that was until I came face to face Another with the boss itself. All right, buddy, you did it. Your fault. I don't know what you're doing, but I got him. Oh my God, that was, ooh, I was focusing hard and I was like in it to win it. I ain't going back. Uh -uh. From this point on, I wanted to fill out the rest of the map or at least Farbane Woods as much as I could. Today was the moment I picked a new spot for another base or my first real base, okay? That meant I had to scurry through and get Don't through most of the Dunley Farms without my... dying. Da, 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 da. <gasps> All right, it's creating the thingy so I will be protected. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. And then I just put blood in here. I'll split it though, because I need some more. Most of what I did next was just building storages so I could bring everything to and from my last base. On day 17, I had a new idea in mind. Taking a little bit of grass floors and planning to give my base a almost porch-like feel to it. Oh man, look at the progress. This is it so far, guys. Look at this. We're, this is like actually bigger than I ever thought it'd be. And it, it's really nice because it's all interconnected too. So I'm trying to figure out a way that looks normal to keep it kind of like you know, looking and feeling great, but it feels too forced. Like this is just... There's got to be something else that like blends in. Next was clearing out more land throughout the day and then filling in more of the empty plots with a certain cobblestone. I enjoyed having a path that led to the base instead of the base just being straight to where, you know, the perimeter ended. With just a few more touch-ups and things moved around in the base some more, the progress I was making felt real this time. There we go. So we don't need these braziers anymore. Now it was just deciding on where to put my smelters and sawmills in hopes of finding a common ground for them both. Next, it went from the leather working stations to adding some gravestones outside for the skeleton, a few blood work tables, and lastly, some paper presses for later use. The most essential thing to any of my bases was in fact the garden. Between finding a few ports throughout the night, I almost had my butt skewered, and not in the fun way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my God, there's lots of people, lots of people, lots of people. Ah, ah, ooh, ooh. Can't touch this. Are you granny? Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not granny. That's not granny. Uh, da, da, da. Speaking of which, this next part of the video, I was already curious and about to see what Gloomrot update had. Dracula, what the fudge? Dracula's demise? Whoa, holy crap. Yeah, definitely shouldn't be here, but what's, yo, what is this? Oh, oh, you look so cool. <laughs> oh, what's that noise? Hello? All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, hello. Okay. I guess we'll go this way. In the last video I made, I barely scratched the surface with this stuff, so I was I was excited. That wasn't the only thing I wanted to show you, because back at my base, I had a certain something building its army. It's gonna be a little bananas. B a n a n a n a s. A lot of Anna in there. You ready? Watch this. Hey guys. Oh, well, there's not. Mm, I thought there'd be more. What I did have to work towards now was iron. It was this whole process that took way too much paper and for a simple upgrade with merciless equipment or weapons. We have to get paper, and every 50 paper, we can discover something random. 
And that random thing is what I need right now. With day 21 here, I made sure to maximize the amount of materials I had with the paper that I was going to need. As the days went on, I did have a good thing going with my garden. It'd give me a couple plants and I'd get a few seeds to replant. I may have also fell in love with all my boners. Also because getting a boner these days was just the hardest thing possible. All right, you best believe I was ready for that iron now. Oh wait, no, that is the pickaxe. There is no pickaxe in the game. I don't know why I kept saying pickaxe. All right, we just got to make sure we don't see the other dude and we're good to go. Oh yeah, see how they're fighting the boss over there? Not happening. Are they winning? Oh god, no. <laughs> Not even close to winning. If I can bring the two bosses in here together, that would be the ideal thing to do. With all that juicy metal loaded into the smelters, the name of the game was now just to wait. Wait it out and get that iron going. What did come as a shock to me on day 23, I found myself skipping through most of the other upgrades. I mean, who really needed the merciless stuff when I had iron in my grasp? The biggest mistake I made the next day was trying to get inside the iron mine shaft itself. I had this archer boss to smaller minions taking off my HP little by little. I was even forced to use my ulti to help take care of some of the aggro. Getting back into the mines after my death was somehow twice as easy because now everyone was just gone or moved on. Finally having all of my weapons upgraded to the best I could at the time, I was looking for the same with my equipment. The biggest part of this game was upgrading gear level, and that was in hopes of finding our way to different bosses and eventually getting to the last boss himself. Sadly, at the time, I didn't have a skill set that felt like my playstyle or something that I was comfortable with. So this fight here, this, yeah, just didn't go as planned. But I soon did come to love a certain pill for many, many all the days to come. Like I said, this would easily become one of my best builds I used for the entire playthrough. It had skeletons. It had more skeletons. And when all was lost, I could then summon an army of skeletons. The best place to test all of this out was that little village that tried to run me out of town a while back. This part of the game, this always made me so sad because of the certain boss that you didn't fight but you had to like chase it was literally a sweet old granny she ran around screaming no no don't hurt me it's so sad no granny friggin ah, i didn't want to fight you why do you have to be like this grand grand please stop i know i know it's so sad oh my god but i did it anyways <laughs> On day 27, I made a few attempts at this next bomb. One I truly despised and hated with all my guts. Vincent the Freezy Pop, or Iceman, a dude that would not leave me alone. His Berserk mode also gave him a whole bunch of move speed that made everything so frustrating. It took me a few times to realize that I just wasn't ready for him yet. Having my fingers crossed for the next day, I was praying to the cheez -It Lords that my next encounter would go differently. It turns out I would also run into another boss, which gave me a round two for this fight. While my plan was to fight Tristan the Vampire Hunter, he also was located in the beginning parts of the map, and one I would eventually have to chase down, so for the time being, I just didn't want to do that. I worked on more of my base building. Both the smelters and sawmills had their own respective rooms extended. I also managed to play a little Tetris and get my paper presses into their own room as well. At this point, I knew my base was at a good stage. The garden I also had was slowly growing in size, and now Tristan was waiting for me. Waiting for me to give him a good fight. And you know what? Oh, I did. So while most boss fights were really easy or just things I could get through, there was a handful of them I just wasn't great at fighting. And let me tell you, this was one of them. Like everyone says in rock climbing, that right there, baby, that was a flash. A first time for me to actually clear out a boss in just a single go. For the rest of the time, I had a bunch of looms built into the corner. Working on the next upgrade I needed, it was asking for a Scourge Stone Necklace. While I stuck around to farm up a bit more of the stone gems, I found the biggest and baddest boss yet. So with that said, this fight would have to wait. The big level gap just wasn't helping anyone, surely not me, and I had a bit of ways to go. Speaking of which, and being behind on stuff, this new bench was hopefully just what I needed. As day 32 was here, I wanted to see what this music player was all about. So if I wanted more music or tracks, I would have to figure out the secret locations. This was also what I called two birds, one stone. I was planning on upgrading my base and my castle heart, though it did ask of me to tame humans and bring them back to the most humane type of homes. Seeing that my gear level was high enough, the next boss I looked into was the Dark Savant. A tricky boss who used a lot of flying paper and these creepy crawlers that felt like demonic spawn. As long as I made sure to kill them first, the boss couldn't use them as a healing source and I'd be fine. I found that having meat shields in the game and running around made everything twice as easy. It's also that time in the video and if you made it this far, comment Dracula down below.
The next couple of days I spent chopping down as many trees as I could. Needing paper, this was perfect, and then I could turn that into scrolls and for so much more. This new research table I had offered so many more upgrades, which truth be told, I only needed one right now. Did I make a big mistake? Here we go. Whoa, they changed the way they the, the, this one looks too. Holy crap. You gotta you gotta stop or you're gonna die. I'm I'm just putting that out there right now. That I was trying to tell you. I'm so sorry. I was trying to tell you. This one is the easiest boss battle ever. Holy smokes. Thank goodness for my garden too, because most of the seeds that I gathered from all those plants I had, the pollen was great and paper was many. I'm just a little old me. I'm no vampire. I like garlic. Ah, ooh, garlic. Mmm, yum, garlic. I'm going in. I'm going in. Hello, farmer. Don't mind me. I've come here to buy things. Please let me be. I'm just buying things. I need money to buy all these. Just straight. Whoop. Oh, oh, I turned into a vampire. What did I do? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You fight him. He fights you and you'll die today. All right. Hey, <laughs> we got all technologies. Look at it. Unlocked everything. I didn't really need them, but it was cool to still unlock it. Curious to see what upgrades came next. I had to tap some humans. Blood potion. Wait. Oh, tap a prisoner on blood at cost of that. Yo, I, I straight up kill them. Holy crap. Afterwards, I came across a castle throne, a beautiful piece of furniture that gave my vampire butt cheeks the best feeling ever. Next, I was backtracking a bit through the bosses some more. I needed to continue my reign of terror, which funny enough, Terra, the geomancer, was the next boss for me. This now gave me the options to craft more advanced and infused bars. Though missing the key ingredients, which was the alloy bars themselves, that would have to wait. Remember when I mentioned that only a handful of bosses really frustrated me? Well, you were about to witness another one of those. Though just before finding the boss i completely forgot that snow existed in the game oh this was the hard boss that's right yeah 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 i remember this one kill him kill him kill him kill him kill him please 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 <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh you have no idea i was so focused so lasered in oh my god this thing had to die Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Overall, this first fight definitely wasn't easy. Of course, I was still underleveled, so that definitely didn't help either. The other thing I didn't realize at the time was the hollow wood I picked up. Apparently in the snow place, it had different types of trees, which was perfect timing, because now I would need the oil that was refined from the wood itself. This felt like the perfect time to get all the ingredients together and start producing the scourge stones. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, level 50 gear level. Holy crap. Finally. Oh my gosh. That gave me three big levels. Wait, can we see what more? Oh, I can see the bosses here now. All right. So this one is the one I'm looking for, honestly, is coins. Jewel crafting, which is this one is awesome. And then coins. I need... Oh, I could do guns? No friggin' way. That and actually getting the rest of my base built. Or at the very least, putting some walls up and looking to create another safe spot for myself. Next, I started to fall hard for a certain garden shrubbery. All right. Oh man, this was the biggest upgrade. Look at this. I've got a full on garden out here now. I was gonna do like a bridge over to the second castle, but figured I might as well just make a separate thing entirely. So this is where I'm setting up all of my garden though. It's gonna be beautiful, nice, eventually, and I'll add more stuff and fix it up a bit more again, but this is so cool. So much better than my last thing. Now everything's just in one section, one area. We have all this, finally organized everything, nothing in the middle except for the portal. Taylor and that, Taylor in there as well. On day 47, I had all the rooms I needed, both the blood presses and the chests. My grinders finally got the rooms they needed as well. The castle was coming along so much better than last time. I'm being completely honest, didn't think I'd ever see this or even get close to where i am at but look at this hand of dracula apparently dracula is in the game now or was or i don't know but Arr, take it buddy oh my god look at these things whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. go away 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 oh my god oh my god oh my god well and they're both dead <laughs> with this new area, the Ruins of Mortuum, this place was filled with all sorts of new creatures. Probably one of my favorite places because it was always nighttime in the area. Even just clearing out certain crystals from the protectors, I would have boss fights waiting for me. Okay, they combined everything. Got it. All right, so we got to do a bit of this. 
<gasps> we killed him. We killed him. We killed him. We got the crystal down. We got the crystal down. We just got to kill everyone else now. Wait, did we get like a super cool item or something? <gasps> Ooh, a morbid battle scythe. Physical damage, damage to undead, bonus, spell power, leech. And for this, I think we do have to uh, do something to fix them. Whoa. Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, buddy. My main man. I don't have money. While taking home that W and with all the crystals I found, I received this new buildable bench. All right. So what do you do? The altar of Stygian awakening. Passive abilities? I wonder if I just get that as a thing. Hold on, hold on, unlock that. The next day I was clearing out more lands around the Feywalk. I still needed my gardens to be more full, luscious, and ripe for the picking. So this was the perfect place for farming every 10 to 12 minutes. My grinders were about to be the happiest bunch as well, and with so much pollen going into my pockets. This was the amount of scrolls needed in this new study. Obviously, that was going to take a while, and then some. But this wasn't any ordinary day. The plan now was to use some of the upgrades I was slowly coming across and venture forth into the ruins once more. The crystal shards were definitely of great importance, and with more bosses to fight. This right here, folks, this was another one of those pesky little bosses that annoyed me. No idea how I got so lucky in killing this weirdo, but once I gathered all that around me, I was off towards my base, taking a little peep at some of the fine looking upgrades. It also turns out that if I upgraded my gear or at least the bare minimum, I found myself working towards becoming the greatest. It was also so much easier fighting bosses on my own terms. This was like a bad joke because I was a vampire walking into a church who also died to a nun. It, it wouldn't stop there though because I jumped back into to the fray and died to another nun. At this point, it was time for some true vengeance and a refund. The only thing I needed at this very point was a holy resistance potion. That same potion finally got my butt into that church. All I had left to do was fight the shepherd. If only I knew sooner with how much damage his firing my laser beam actually did. Feeling like that boss was just impossible to fight, I had a much better idea. Fight a completely different boss in a completely different area. Seeing the engineer right there, I knew I had to play this from a distance. Distance and making sure I didn't die. The scariest thing about the entire fight was the Gatling gun this boss had. That and these little turrets the boss would drop and sometimes shoot me. Trust me, no one was as surprised as myself to actually beat the boss. I don't know why harder bosses were easier for me, but they just weren't. While making my way back to the base the next day, I got caught up in a little kerfuffle. I was looking for mutant grease and some scraps for crafting purposes. Very important crafting purposes. With all the new stuff I found, the coolest thing was these new blades. Initially, they were pretty cool, but for the practical use, I just mainly used them for the garden. I mean, look at that speed, the space they covered, and that precision. Still on the hunt for the upgraded Reaper, it was time to decide on which boss was next. You know what? No. Who needs another boss fight when I could just go exploring? I knew exactly what time it was. A mission to exact my revenge and try my best for another win. The shepherd was going down and I wouldn't take no for an answer. Especially with the closest of calls happening, I somehow overcame my fear and took home another W. I also managed to overcome my next boss fight. This one was Octavian the Militia Captain. A mighty foe for sure. There were some close calls, but he was no match for me and my skeleton boys. With so many bosses killed in the past few days, I had a lot more toys to play with and build. Yeah, two is more than enough. Beautiful. Okay. And then here it is. Primal. Oh, ho, ho. we need eight of them though. As you could see, the plan for better upgrades now was finding or farming materials so I could start crafting radium alloy. And would you look at that? Having cut down a bunch of fiber and cotton balls mixed in with some bones, I had a few builds that would start looking mad green. Yeah, so we have to make sure we pick these up every so often because there is a limit. Just like the skeletons, only a certain amount can spawn. And then it gives me the other stuff. And then we turn that stuff into the greater ones. And then the greater ones into the... It's a whole thing. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, literally, it's the only thing I don't have that I want. It's the only thing I want. I don't even use the gun. I don't, I personally don't like the gun. But the Reaper, man, I'm j it's just, it's a melee ranged weapon and the spin just does awesome stuff. I found it crazy that the Reaper I was looking for was still one of the last things to be researched. With my gear level sitting at 60 now, I could finally say this was the first time ever going for bosses this high in level. What I did need to work on at the time was farming up more tech scrap, one of the more important resources for a lot of builds to come. Having my new Reaper sure did help with this next boss though. Oh, she's right there too. Ooh, she's not red anymore. Beautiful. Whoa, what a crazy lady, huh? I just gotta watch the thingy. When she jumps to me, move back. I don't, I don't. She's going super fast mode. Oh my God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is good, this is good, this is good. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? 
<laughs> oh, I can't dodge it. I'm just, I want it. It's my face. Oh, all over. Hey, little lady. Hey, little lady. What's up, little lady? Oh, you're a cutie pie. Afterwards, it was a little bit of ding dong ditch and then seeing another boss close by. I gotta be honest, this was definitely one of the more frustrating bosses too. On day 66, the coolest thing was finding out there were better tier gems more damage and just better stats overall. So while making my way back home, it was another dump of materials and things that just filled up my inventory. Looking to exact my revenge on the same boss in Groomrot later in the night. It's gonna just take a bit of time. Cause he just spams this stuff. Oh my God, no. This is my chance, this is my chance, this is my chance. Kill you. Ooh, ooh, if I could teabag your mouth, I would, your face, I'm gonna, oh. What was really cool to see and find out was encountering rifts in the game. Every 15 to 30 minutes or so, random events would spawn in the world or ruins of Mortual. You'd run over, see, and kill all the creatures, and then pick up any juicy loot the boss might have had. General Valencia the Depraved? Oh, damn, you got curves, I think. Oh, come here. This person is so cool. Ow. So cool, so cool. Ah, ah, oh my god. I'm not kidding when I say this, but like I lose my cursor so many times there. If that wasn't enough new stuff for you, then this next area of the map would be. Enshrouded by a thick fog, I felt like I would die at any moment. I did run into a cool looking town though, having a bunch of these weird looking crystals that were protected by banshees. At the time, the only way to get any vision was to release a single wisp. Surprising myself with one boss after the next, I was just happy that my gear level was holding up. Lucky for me, I did manage to fight my way outside the fog, running into another different and completely foreign area to myself. Like they're actually stronger than a lot of bosses I've fought. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, they are orange, though. With it being daytime again, I thought this would change my luck and give me vision. Turns out you would have to go deeper into the sacred forest. I, on the other hand, found spiders. Of course I did. All right, spider boss. I know you're here. I know you was here. Spider cave? Yeah, what else you gonna be here? What else you gonna be here? What else you gonna be here? Nothing alone. You're thinking not wrong. Nope, nope. Mm. Ooh, we're getting deeper into the caves of unknown. Um, yeah, they're definitely gonna summon little ones for me, which is not gonna be fun. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Ulti, throw this here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Throw that again. Throw that again. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, okay. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Wait a minute. Maybe we did. Who knows? Ow. Oh, killed him while he was pulling me in. Yo, get dead. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a cute, cuddly little spider. And I'm going underground? What I really needed right now was some sunscreen or a way to avoid death by mosquitoes. So it did lead me to finding to another wandering boss. Oh yeah, he just runs. Oh, okay. Straight up. I guess he just summons things to like slow me down. <laughs> I kind of like this guy. What the fudge? This guy cool, man. All right, cool. No, it's great to summon 10% off at checkout. G subs use the code ROP. All I could think of doing now was returning back home and dropping anything off that I didn't need at the time. Giving my grinders a nice floor for more performance the next day, my garden was looking more full than ever before. The next place I would attempt to clear out was a peaceful village by day, but by night, it would be filled with ravenous werewolves. Each one of them I fought felt like a full-fledged boss. Even Wilfred the boss himself wasn't as bad as the smaller creatures. Kill him, kill him. Yes! Oh, 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 oh. It was, that was like, oh, that was my last thing there. I had, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. The one boss I wanted to fight almost all game was finally here. The Toad Duke himself. It is Albert. A great name. Oh, fuck, yo. My dude. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I've been eaten! Mom! I'm fucking... Again with the eating? Do you... Do manners, please. Manners. Manners make it the man. I think. I don't know. Yeah! Oh, I'm gonna... Whoa. 
This next boss was definitely harder than a few of them, mostly because I kept losing my cursor with all the stuff happening on screen. So it was also because of the level gap. Even with the skill level, things definitely felt as hard as it could. Ooh, I go into focus mode. Oh my God, I will win. Oh, we got a GG. We got it. Hey, we completed act three too. That, that's right. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, okay, so the last act is Act 4, Into Dracula. We did it. Oh, man. What I didn't seem to get at the time was how easy all of this could have been. Apparently, there was a cloak that gave me the ability to see all of the cursed map. The biggest change to my base I was looking for was making sure I had upgraded storage whenever a certain boss was defeated. With a new day here, I finally had the level to build better furnaces. The better the upgrade, the more recipes each build or bench unlocked for me. This was also that day I finally built myself a whole new storage system. These clockwork looking wardrobes that had space I needed 20 days ago. What I really wanted to do next was make as much of my base look as pretty as it could. That started with the looms and leather benches. Next was the paper press room, then my sawmills and so forth. I even built the double wided doors for the added space. Part of me actually wanted to build a second floor, but realized early on it would have taken too much time. Now I was onto bigger and better things, like my gardening expertise, opening up my castle some more and adding extra rooms and space where I could. Looking to upgrade a few more pieces of my equipment, this was definitely for the more advanced stuff. This also had me farming up more crystals where I could and picking up a few of the scrap piles. Something beautiful and extraordinary was coming. Here's to see what other bosses I missed or didn't fight yet. The majority of them had me traveling to the one place I'd yet visited. Silver Light Hills. Oh boy. All right. Silver Light, Silver Light, it's hurting my butthole today. I even managed to catch a glimpse of my next big fight. Sir Magnus Overseer. How do I get silver? It turns out the gate was more of an exit, and I had to find another way inside. So it looks like this is a doorway, but then we have to fight our way in. Beating up a bunch of more baddies, I picked up their silver and tried to find a way out this hellhole. I realized if they didn't kill me, the silver would. Maybe this one, maybe this one. Um, yes. I think I stopped taking damage from silver. What the heck? I think I'm okay. I'm just going around so I don't have to say hi to him. I'm holding the gate. I'm opening the gate. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and I found a way back in. Oh my God. I was so lucky to find that the bear had actual protection against the silver. Of course, it did take me a couple more tries to actually bring it all back to base. Even for the bear, it was still too much. All right, give me the cool down, cool down recovery. All right, now we got 63 power level. Gear level is... We're going to be a solid gear level, actually, because once I get the first weapon, it goes to 23. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Something I was a little hesitant on was the next upgrade for my Reaper. Sure, it had higher level, but I loved the bonus that this weapon had. Biome, baby. Biome. <laughs> At this point in the game, I was making even the level 70 creatures look small. My gear level was growing faster than I ever predicted. The Blade Dancer I found once more was as easy as pie making my way through the greased up area and then for a way back home. What I really needed to upgrade now was my actual clothes. Stuck at the same gear level was kind of crazy, so this was right on my alley. Please? Yay! I called it, we got gear level 70. All right. Having gear level 70 was amazing, but it also gave me a chance to finally fight the next boss. Hello. Whoa, he's doing a spinny guy, okay. Does he normally just call people in? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. He's kind of like... Like, watch this. He, he... Ooh, golden chest right there, too. Okay, I'll take it. It's also, he kind of weak, though. He kind of weak, though. Like, these guys were scarier, if I'm being honest. You can't do this when I'm stuck in blood. Oh, we got Ash Folk Crown. Got some silver coins. Destructive Abyss. Oh, that's what we... Ooh. Feeling the raw power surge through my bones and knowing I was of the same playing field, I found my way through some harpies and into another boss fight, the Baron himself. He's just drinking, sipping, enjoying. It seems the guest has arrived. Whoa, whoa. Ow! What the fudge? Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. And just hit me, okay. This is kind of cool. Ow, that, that wasn't cool. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Wait, he's dead. Don't. Oh, God. 
Oh, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> the funniest boss. This is the funniest boss ever, man. You kidding me with that? Get out of here. Waiting atop some mountains, the next boss, which was the Harpy Stormwing, was perched over right in front of me. Oh, 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 just put on my focus face or poker face and just poke her face, you know? It seemed as though the bosses that I fought at a higher level were too easy. I was just hoping that this was a fluke or I was just getting lucky because I know there were some bosses out there that would shut me down. But for the rest of the night, I gambled away more gems in hopes of strengthening my damage again. The plan was to originally fight the next boss within the area. But seeing the holy radiation and the boss arena itself, there was no way that was happening this soon, which meant I could find and tackle a certain someone called the Elementalist. Whoa, whoa, where's the big fireball? What's the, what's the deal with the big fireball, huh? Shut, shut, Ooh, get him, get him, get him. No, 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 no. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I got this, I got this. Bop, bop. This boss was easy as one, two, oh, she big dead. With another boss leading me into endgame, I was excited about this place. It was all new to me and just so much love put into the designs of it all. Hello, I'm here, buddy. Hello, hello, hello. Whoa, what the fudge? She's Doc Octopus. That's cool. That's actually really cool. All right, so somehow we have to not get hit by this thing, which looks scary as... Stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. <gasps> Stop pushing me. You're dead. How are you still doing that? Get out of here, nerd. Just die. Just die, die, die to die. Thank you. All right. So now we have a Antheneum and we got to get schematics. So think back to when I was farming all that paper and that. Essentially the same thing. Scrolls too. This might have been the biggest upgrade of them all too. So just discover one. So we have a bunch of new stuff to discover. Structures. Look at the amount of armors, armors and weapons. I'm curious to see what's better than a dark silver reaper because this is pink purple. What seemed to be the right way of popping its cherry was staring right at me. If I wanted to get upgrades, I needed to do this. So I farmed all of this stuff. This took way, way, way too long. Oh my God. It's ridiculous, man. All of this stuff and I, I better get some upgrades. I swear, like at least two new weapons with a full new set of armor. <laughs> did you hear that sound? It's like, doo -doo 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 what did we get? What did we get? Did I get, I didn't get my Reaper kind of suckish. Damn it. Okay. We're going to have to wait for that then because the Reaper is my main damage. So we could use these to get the higher level just to start farming better stuff. No idea what to expect this far in the game. I just knew good things were coming. I also made my way through the entire village, knowing that this holy radiation potion would come in handy. Ooh, there it is. There's the person. What's happening? Why is that going off? Okay, uh, what is um, happening? When it came to fights like these, I only ever had problems when the smaller minions would chase me down. 1v1 me and the boss, they would stand no chance. Got him, got him, got him. Thank you. Ho, 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 ho. A tricky sunbringer, but not that tricky. Something I never thought I'd say, but I had every single research table fully upgraded. Now I'm gonna unlock it all, all of it. Ooh, holy, whoa. I literally only need one more thing. And you know what? Achieve it. <laughs> hey, all technologies. Oh my God. Even these things. Having all of my weapons being upgraded as well, my gear level was about to become so fierce. Oh, the necklace, is it done? Oh, <gasps> are you ready for this? Watch this. Boom. 78 gear level. Oh my God, whoa. We could, oh my God. If we get to 80, that's it. <gasps> 81. 81, guys. 80 friggin' one. All right. New and improved gear level. I feared nothing and no one. Not even this terror clock trying to fight. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him. <laughs> oh, easy does it. Level 81 and counting. All right. I should be able to finish this game very soon. Oh my God. In case, three, two, one. All right. An intruder. I'll deal with you myself. <laughs> Why is this guy so easy? Holy smoke. 
<laughs> but I didn't even do much. I just like, my thing is now is like, I literally go all in from the start to get them to half HP and then just repeat that thing. And it seems to work. Like I seem to do the most damage. They get confused. They do their thing, but then they're like, wait, why are we here already? You shouldn't be this strong. And I'm like, yeah, I am. The new recipe called for power cores. And this was something I knew nothing of, but just accepted. What they did need was charged electricity. Apparently there was a set location because something I tried just wasn't working. What I did find was a lot of random weather and so much fire in this place. Okay, so if I go here, oh, charge batteries. Oh, this is how it works. Charging. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this. It's getting like electricity from somewhere and now. Hear me out, Still while being 80 life. plus gear level and seeing the harder rifts open, I had no idea I took my necklace off. This thing apparently gave me almost 30 gear level and I was so confused and shocked that I wasn't able to do anything. Are you kidding me? All that time I should have had this necklace? I Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know a necklace would be like almost 20 levels or more. With everything finally back to normal, from what felt impossible and to now doable, I fought, killed, and won my way through this place, looking for any rewards better than the easier rifts. This was something that helped me truly, especially when upgrading the higher tier stuff. All right, so this thing is what I was looking for. And stitching. We still have those. Remember when I said nothing would stop me and I could beat any boss that came my way? This last vampire hunter was that for me and so much more. I was so done with all that nonsense. And there was one place I remember being happy that intrigued me. This was the blood crystal area. Oh, this place. All right. Okay. All right. I got to go kill this man here. Lord sticks the night champion. Not for long, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's kind of sketchy. I don't like that. Ooh, that's where he went. Okay. Oh, and there. Wait, is that him? Oh, that's a gargoyle. Okay, can we stop with the dragon helping him too? Like, for realsies? Hold on. Bow to the everlasting. Come on, kill him. Yes! Oh my god! I'm just gonna take his blood now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Finishing up the boss and collecting as many blood crystals as I could, the next boss had me traveling back to the Cursed Forest. Probably one of the more interesting Geo Crusher bosses too. Whoa, whoa, why are we in like spectral worlds? What the fudge, yo, we're facing two of them? Oh, he dead, he big dead, he big dead. He's so big dead, he doesn't even know it yet, but he big, big dead. It took me over a hundred hours and a lot of deaths, finding so many new things and just the experience alone. The final boss was almost here. For now, I was reminded about a boss many moons ago. Ow, Mega stop, Mega stop. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Kill him, woo! All right, a lot easier than before, holy smokes. I just smoked them. Again. Almost having all of the advanced builds by now, I was about to have the best gear ever. Carry capacity and all. The biggest upgrades that I needed, I had no clue about. Oh, you know what I could do though? Hold on. We go as a bat. We can fly across all of the place. Look at this. We're literally above the entire game. Oh, I was like, is that a dragon? But no. It's like a Spyro dragon, though. So cool, right? Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Holy crap. Okay. All right, buddy. Yeah, you're fancy, huh? Oh, come on. He has, like, no HP. Get out of here with that. Watch this. Uh, boom, baby. Hey. Come here, you big boy word dragon. Not hard at all. Oh my gosh. Gee, you know what's hard? You know what's really hard? That friggin' vampire hunter. Oh my god, that thing is crazy. Whoa, I just got a soul shard. I got this. Oh my god. What I did start to catch on, though, was the last few bosses I had to fight. Each one gave me a piece to a Dracula set and so much more. Solaris was also a boss that gave me a great challenge. Truly tested my skills and awareness. <laughs> this is so spooky. I mean, just look at that down there. Is that crazy? The design for some of these bosses when you get to the end game stuff, man, it's actually kind of insane. I asked myself, should I focus on both bosses or one by one? This fight especially took me a good two hours and in doing so, I did something unexpected. 
Oh, trying to fight both of them at the same time. They one is like will spawn all over the place, like all the time, even when they die. The other one just heals like a buttload. I am so happy to have done that. Oh my god! Complete and complete Act Four. Wait, that was Act Four. Wait, no shot. That was Act Four. What was now the second to last boss fight? Someone who went by the name of Adam the Firstborn. I'll tell you right now, this fight had me changing up all of the skills I had to the things I would never use. And it just really taught me that certain bosses, man, they, they had just so many different things to them. Oh, what the heck? Yo, what? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Just an electrical door. Don't mind this. All right. You know what I need? An EMP. Apparently. Is that... Is it, okay. And then what do we do? Just hit it? <gasps> oh, God. I'm stunned. I'm st oh. Oh, my God. I literally... Oh. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm here, Adam. Ollie, Ollie, Allen. Adam, free. Oxy, free. It started off with hitting a switch, deactivating the shield, and summoning my next fight. Oh my god, yo, this is insane. Do I have to, like, turn stuff off? I hope I don't have to turn stuff off. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Whee! Picked me up. I will say, for the first time ever stepping foot inside this place, I did actually pretty fantastic. Though so this is when death after death started happening. I swore so much, I broke even more. And even to this day, editing this part right now, my keyboard is not the same. It got to a point where I actually knew all the mechanics and dodged like a pro. The only thing I could think of now was fighting more rifts and trying to find stuff to buy from different sellers. This would hopefully be my saving grace. Okay, after all the rage and all the stuff that I said and done and and broke, yeah, I, if you guys didn't know, I, I, I may have broken a few things. Oh, well, I fixed that one. Okay, didn't actually know I could fix that. Well, still half broken. One side of it is not broken now. But look at this. Look at this. When you get a legendary item fully made, there's like a fire flame emblem around it. The weapon itself looks so good, and it's called a Mort Mortira's Lamnant. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. On top of that, look at that. We're practically 90 gear level. Of course, as eager as I was for this next fight, it wasn't going to go my way. After a full day's rest in the real world, I started doing it. Began another fight, broke down generators, and actually started to make progress. As you could tell, hopefully, I was focused so much more. And talking just wasn't a thing right now. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? Oh, I won! I won! Oh my god! You don't understand how long I farmed to beat this boss and to just even fight it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Taste of knowledge. Adam the Firstborn is dead. I got goosebumps. Oh my god. Like, I changed my skill sets and everything to beat this thing. The blood rage does help so much, I will say. This is crazy because it gives you super attack speed, which you need in this. And that extra move speed does play a big difference. I will say when you fight this boss, make sure you have your level 30 legendary weapon. Yes, legendary weapon. It helps so much. And then just watch out for his attacks in that. When you're fighting him, just make sure you give yourself some time to break the, the electrical stuff. This is not good. This is not good. I've got to land soon, I think. Don't I? I'm like above everything. But the last day here, this is where I had to focus. Staying as vigilant as I could and really taking my time to learn how Dracula himself worked. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of spooky. Yeah, this is kind of spooky. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this place. Hello. Anybody home? No? Cool. I'm just gonna... Oh God. Oh God. I'm just gonna leave maybe? Gravel... To the Shadow Realm? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Wait, if I do, do I lose everything? Oh my god, there he is. He's like a my the magnificent sword from here. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. I'm just going in from last I was. There we go. Dracula. Dracula! Yo! Does he have wings? Oh no, that's the throne. Hi. Surrender them. 
face your destiny. Hello, hello. I don't know if I want... Oh my god. I don't know if I want the fast hitting thing. Like, I don't... Oh my god. Did he just go, like, half awesome? Oh, I gotta break the crystal now? Oh my god. Woo! Or maybe I don't. I don't know. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ow, yup, there it is. Dracula, the Immortal King. All right, this time I took all the potions, so hopefully it is a little bit better. We'll see. I think so, yeah. Who does that? Okay. Come on, come on, I gotta kill him. Does that still hit him? I think it does, right? Oh, God. There is no escape from your fate. Your end is in the shadows. Endless hatred. I just gotta kill him. <gasps> kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Did I win? Impossible. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's doing something. I don't know if I have to move or not. Oh god. Oh god. What uh uh Oh, 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 oh. It's raining. It's raining. Oh, 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 There could be no other way. Hello. Hold it to... Okay. Here you go. I'm exacting my revenge, Dracula. Oh, get some, buddy. Get some. Oh, man. Defeat Dracula, the immortal king. Oh, my God. He's going in flames. Yo, oh, my goodness. And now, look at this. Look at, oh, this is 25%. 25% blood type efficiency damage to vampires as well. I can feel the ancient Yo, that's insane. <laughs> what are we? In this place between worlds, you can feel the whispers at your back. A presence from the shadow realm. A surge of power that... Heralds its champions unto Vardoran, a destiny meant for Dracula, now inherited by you. Go forth, Cullen. <gasps> it even says my name! Oh, I like it. It's, it's a little thing, but I like it. Emerge victorious. Oh, we could just teleport? Oh. Lord of the Night, defeat Dracula and claim. Look at that. Dracula, the immortal king. Dracula, sorry. And if I wanted to craft that, I would need, let's see, this, I hope, I hope it puts us above 90 gear level. I don't, I think that gear level might be the max, 90, but we'll see. We'll see in just a moment here. All right, and oh, we actually can go higher. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I got gear level 91. All right, gear level 91. Oh man, it is like thick fancy. It's got like the little thing in the middle there too. Look at me go. Oh my god. I do everything else in building stuff, but I think this is so much worth it. We have 1100 HP, started off with nothing, came up to this. I just want to say thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. But the last video I made, apologies on that one. I know that was supposed to be the Gloom Rot update, but because I never played the game, I was experiencing everything for the first time and it was just so much to take in. I don't know how I did this, but if you got to this part of the video, thank you so much. I love your faces. I really do appreciate you. I will never stop thanking you and I will forever be grateful. Just thank you. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. This is Ray Pandas signing out. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye everybody. Take it easy.